What if I told you that we took seven of the industry's best hunting bullets, shot them real time through simulated bone and ballistics gel, and then uploaded that slow-mo footage to an AI to have it analyzed at over 1 million frames a second to determine everything from quantifiable energy jump numbers to bone breaking potential, hydrostatic shock, shock wave expansion, velocity decay, and even blood trail likelihood estimates. Well, in this video, and maybe for the first time ever, that's exactly what we did. Be sure to stick around to the end of the video to find out if your favorite hunting bullet wins today's test. Using my 24 inch barrel 30 out 6 we set up our targets at 200 yards and fired away. At the end of the video, we'll reveal the slow-mo footage from each bullet, but see if you can guess which is which by the damage caused in the jail blocks. Everyone has a favorite hunting bullet, but without knowing which bullet is which, can you tell by simply looking at the damage caused by each shot? Later in the video, we'll slow down each shot even more so we can perform a full damage analysis for each shot. Maybe you'll find your favorite honey bullet doesn't quite stack up, or maybe this will confirm your bullet choice is the best for your hunting situation. And hang around to the end of the video because we'll provide charts that you can screenshot and save with over 20 quantifiable data points comparatively for each bullet in today's test. Objective data that would take years to analyze without the use of AI and would still be full of human error. This is truly groundbreaking and game changing for hunters. Here's a quick look at the seven bullets used in this video. We conducted frame by frame analysis of each shot using high speed footage to quantify and compare key ballistic effects. By analyzing impact velocity and rate of gel displacement per millisecond, we could assess the true energy transfer efficiency of each bullet. Wound cavity expansion was measured in real time, allowing us to determine the rate at which each bullet disrupted tissue stimulant upon impact. We also tracked the speed of hydrostatic shock wave to see how far and how fast energy dispersed outward. Penetration depth was examined by analyzing when and where each bullet began to yaw or fragment, giving us insight into terminal stability. Bullet retention was also assessed, allowing us to compare deformation, weight retention, and jacket core separation. By combining these factors, we built a comprehensive performance index to rank these bullets, not just on paper, but on real world impact dynamics that matter to hunters in the field. Here's one we'll look at each of the seven impacts. See if you can guess which bullet made which impact. Here's one last look at each shot before we reveal the damage from each bullet. Now, let's see how many you got right. Shot 1, Federal Terminal Ascent. Shot 2, Remington Core Lot. Shot 3, Hornady ELDX. Shot 4, Nasla Acubon. Shot 5, Winchester PowerPoint. Shot 6 was the Hornady Outfitter. And last but not least, Federal Fusion Tipped. And now to get a full appreciation of what each bullet does on its own, we'll slow down these shots even more. If you're enjoying this content, please be sure to leave us a like and a comment and share this video. And here's our close up of the terminal ascent. This bullet demonstrated excellent energy transfer with the controlled expansion that resulted in deep uniform wound cavity. The footage shows strong structural integrity through ballistic gel and minimal fragmentation, meaning this bullet is highly effective for deeper penetration while maintaining a devastating impact. Due to its ability to retain weight and push through bone and soft tissue effectively, this is a solid choice for both deer and elk at distances up to 400 yards. The Remington core lock footage reveals significant initial expansion upon impact, leading to a large temporary wound cavity but moderate penetration depth. This bullet fragmented moderately in the gel, indicating good energy transfer but with less weight retention compared to bonded options. The Hornet the ELDX displayed violent expansion upon impact, leading to dramatic hydrostatic shock effect and a large secondary wound channel. However, the footage also shows significant fragmentation, meaning less bullet weight was retained through the gel, which could impact penetration on heavier game. Tesla Acubon demonstrated deep penetration and high weight retention, with minimal fragmentation in the gel making it one of the best performers in terms of structural integrity. The footage showed that it maintained its shape well while creating respectable wound cavity, making it highly effective for both deer and elk. Given its high ballistic efficiency and controlled expansion, 
The AccuBond is ideal for ethical shots on big game out to 500 yards. The Winchester PowerPoint footage showed aggressive initial expansion and substantial wound cavity but with moderate penetration, meaning the bullet transferred energy quickly but lost some momentum before exiting the gel. This bullet is well suited for deer within 250 to 300 yards, but elk hunters should be mindful of shot placement and avoid the shoulder. The Hornady Outfitter bullet displayed excellent structural integrity and weight retention with controlled expansion leading to deep straight line penetration straight through the gel. The footage indicated minimal fragmentation, making this bullet ideal for breaking bone and maintaining trajectory through tough conditions. With this bonded construction, it's highly recommended for elk out to 500 yards and for deer at even greater distance. Federal Fusion exhibited a good balance of weight retention, moderate fragmentation, and a respect for wound cavity in the footage. Fusion is ideal for deer within 350 yards and elk within 300 yards whereas controlled expansion can maximize lethality. Here's a look at some of the data points the computer model was able to put together based on the footage. On the far right, you can see some of the categories that the AI was able to establish from the footage. With categories like bone breaking potential and meat damage, this provides hunters some additional resources when selecting a hunting bullet. Feel free to screenshot this chart and save it for later. And here's another chart full of some analysis that you can review from the footage. This chart, also provided by the computer model, provides some incredible data points that could be very useful in selecting a hunting bullet. Feel free to screenshot this chart as well and save it for later use. So based on the uploaded footage and the performance, who did the AI pick for number one? Hornady Outfitter, followed by Federal Terminal Ascent, Hornady ELDX, Federal Fusion at number four, Nosler Acubond at number five, Number six, we had the Remington Core Locked. And coming in the rear was the Winchester PowerPoint. Here's a quantitative view of why the AI picked the Hornady Outfitter to win today's test. Impact force, it had the most. The penetration dip, it had the furthest in inches. The bullet expanded the most. And it had the most energy transfer. Allowing the AI to complete the analysis allowed me to be completely objective throughout this entire testing process. Were you surprised by the results of today's test? How did your favorite hunting bullet stack up? Go down in the comments and let us know. And let us know what other hunting bullets you'd like to see us test next.